Good morning, good afternoon, possibly good evening. Welcome to my video, my channel. Another personal development video, one of the best on the planet. Um, broadcasted to all the best social media platforms. My 10 plus years of personal development studies from the world's top leaders. Some new original content, more new original content. All my content I put out on social media is original content created and developed by myself. Symphony of Growth, a manifesto for financial wisdom and personal mastery. Titled, The Power of Us. Statistical studies reveal an astonishing pattern. 90% of the world's population loses their inheritance within a short period. This mirrors the fate of many lottery winners who often claim that their sudden wealth became their greatest burden. They find themselves bombarded with troubles. More money seems to attract more problems. But what does this mean for the rest of us? It means that mastering our finances is about more than just numbers. It is about mastering ourselves. We have seen that even the wealthy downfall. In fact, Another study shows that rich individuals often lose their finances, lose their fortunes seven to eight times, only to regain them each time. Why? Because it is not about the money. Money is energy, a flow that responds to our mindset. With the right mindset, we become like a palm tree, able to bend in the storm stand tall again. Success is a cycle and with each loss comes the potential for growth. The test of life will you pass. Imagine going through life storms without understanding them. Each setback feels like a crushing blow but for those of us who know better we realize these tests are part of a larger process designed to mold us into something greater. The question remains, will you pass the test? Will you sit back and do nothing, watch TV, play video games, waste time all day, and then die and no one knows you existed? Or are you going to limit your entertainment and create something that will be remembered forever? Plus, make our world a better place by spreading the good news to everyone. Life asks of us whether we will hold on to past grievances, clutching the bitterness that chains us to negativity. Will we begrudge those who move forward while we stay stuck in the mire of resentment? Or will we release the past, free our minds, bodies, and spirits, and rise to the next level of success? The key to happiness and fulfillment lies in letting go. Clearing the space within ourselves to embrace what's next. The art of letting go, freeing your mind. We are the architects of our destiny and our minds are tools. It is our responsibility to identify the personal issues holding us back. Success isn't a random stroke of luck. It's the result of deliberate personal development. No one else can do the work for us. We must craft a personalized program of growth designed to address our unique challenges and goals. You need challenges and goals. That's important. We have to figure out what we want. And in this message, it will help you realize that cultivating our mind, like cultivating a garden, trimming it, pruning it, getting as close to perfect as possible. We can attract and eventually have what we want. 
consider this. The subconscious mind is most pliable right when we wake and just before we sleep. Operating in states like theta, delta, and alpha. Different states of mind. The theta state of mind, the delta state of mind, and the alpha state of mind are all important to understand. Planting idea seeds into the conscious mind with the intent of it breaking through to the subconscious mind. This is where true transformation begins. When we feed our subconscious mind the right idea seeds, beliefs and ideas that serve our growth, they begin to manifest into our reality. As the saying goes, we think in secret and it comes to pass. The world is our looking glass. Reprogramming the mind, the path to genius. Our lives follow the patterns of our deepest thoughts. If we repeatedly plant the right ideas into our minds, we can reshape our reality. Through consistent, focused practice, we can become geniuses, mastering any craft within 10,000 hours. All of these statistics and ideas are all scientifically proven and uh, you can learn it all through the various personal development programs, scientific studies, experiments, statistics uh, pertaining to the world as a whole to understand more on our true potential. Hypnosis hypnosis works. I think we can all agree on that. I think we all understand that. But how does it work? Hypnotism. Repetition. And visualization are just a few tools available to break through the conscious mind and tap into the vast power of the subconscious mind. Look it up. Take my word for it. It works. We are all connected to an unlimited source of potential. Every part of our being, our mind, body, and spirit, works together in harmony when we consciously direct it. Imagine your body as the most powerful instrument in the world, which it is. Our bodies are the most powerful instruments in the world, think about it. Every part of it. Think about the complexity and the intricate processes. Our mind, every part, how it works and operates. So we know our bodies as the most powerful instrument on the planet with unlimited potential finally tune it daily through practice and intention and you will begin to produce the music of success effortlessly attracting what you desire the power of practice what do you want knowing now that you can have Anything you want, what will you choose to pursue? Reignite your imagination. Build, create. We are capable of incredible feats. <clears throat> now I'm losing my voice. Getting stronger, probably. That's why. Pain only makes us stronger. Learn to embrace pain. Learn to like pain. Learn to love pain. 
might be. You're getting better. Right? Head hurts. Boom. Your brain's getting better. What? Yeah, back ache. Boom. Your back's getting stronger. That's what that means. Just like at the gym. You do exercises, it hurts. Your muscles are getting stronger. So, we build, create. You are capable of incredible feats, able to amaze yourself, others, and the world around you. Focus on three critical areas. Your senses, sight, sound, touch, taste, smell. The universal laws. And the accountability scale. Taught in secret societies. A lot of this information is taught in secret societies, some of the most private societies, skull and bones, uh, home office, Yale University, CIA, was developed by the Skull and Bones Secret Society, Illuminati, Masons, Freemasons, Brotherhood, Young President Society, um, just to name a few, and the list goes on and on. Secrets that were kept from us of the elite class, the super wealthy, to keep us as slaves. Do you know the Asians, what they used to do? They used to give their workers a drug that would keep them in a low state of mind. That would make them not want to desire anything. Not want to move up to the next level. Why? To keep them as workers. As slaves. A lot of that is going on today. In this area, uh, it makes me think about the monkey scientific experiment. Let me tell you about the monkey scientific experiment to help you better understand what's going on in, in our communities today. We can relate this in some way. They put a group of monkeys in a cage with a pole that they had to climb up to get free. Every time they climbed up a pole, they splashed water on them. They poured water on them. Then they ran down the pole and went and hid. So after a few times of doing this, they realized not to climb up the pole. So they put another group of monkeys in. They didn't splash water on them. And when those monkeys that didn't get the water splashed on them tried to climb up the pole to get out the cage to get free, the other monkeys that had the water splashed on them pulled the other monkeys down off the pole without any water being splashed. Hmm. Something to think about. How many people are ruining other people's dreams? Something to think about. How many people are killing a freshly a new idea? Seed before it begins to germinate and grow into something beautiful. Maybe it's some of your family. Maybe it's some of your friends and associates. I don't know, do whatever it takes to get free. Focus on three critical areas. Your senses, sight, sound, touch, taste, smell. The universal laws. And the accountability scale. Conscious competence and unconscious competence. Study the right information. 
read the right books, listen to the right audiobooks, attend the right trainings, go to the right seminars. Always ask yourself, is this making me better? Is this making me better? What are we allowing into our minds? How are we programming ourselves? It's our responsibilities and duties to allow the right information in. That way, our brain computers are programmed the right way. Remember, we are in control of ourselves. And as we continue on this journey of self-improvement, the world around us will transform. World peace. Subscribe to Personal Mastery. As we grow, as we learn, and as we share, we contribute to a larger movement. A world united by peace, prosperity, and understanding. We are all part of this community. Responsible not only for our own success, but for uplifting each other as well. So let us strive together, help each other, and build a brighter future. Like, subscribe, share this message of growth. Our community cares. Together, we create a symphony of success. One note at a time. World peace. I have a PS. When the magic of our subconscious mind takes over, we continue to amaze ourselves, family, associates, plus the world. So, what does it take to get the subconscious mind to take over? That is something you need to find out for yourself. Just something you need to find out for yourself. Activate the power of the magical subconscious mind. To deal with meditation, activate your third eye. You can look that up on YouTube. That's a little hard to do with it. It's higher learning, understanding, knowledge is power. Well, next message titled The Box of Knowledge.